I guess I'm uh, subject to a discussion earlier on the practice ground. I think that this footage of yourself alongside Tiger may help you understand a little bit of what's happening with your footwork. Um, if I play your swing through first, uh, just to let you see the amount of footwork. If you pay attention to your left heel in particular, but watch how your feet lift as you come through the hitting area. You can appreciate the effect that's going to have on your overall quality of strike and the amount of control you've got on the shot. If you then compare that to Tiger, and again pay attention to the amount of movement he has in his feet. His right heel releases but his left foot stays anchored to the ground at all times during the swing. Therefore providing a lot of stability to accommodate the club head speed that he's generating. So with that in mind, if we have a look at a few areas that are going to lead to that, the first noticeable difference is if we look at the angle of your spine, you can see there that you're very much on top of the ball. Tiger tends to angle his spine a little bit more away from his target, gives the impression that he's trying to hit the higher shot, which is something we've discussed in the past. As a result of that, as Tiger makes his backswing, he tends to turn behind, based around the spine angle that he had an address, whereas you tend to turn on top. Again, based on the spine angle that you had addressed. What you're now going to see with Tiger is an ability to move into his left side while staying behind the golf ball. You can see there that his angle of his spine is very similar to what it was at address. There's a move into the left side, but he's able to stay behind it and release the club to impact. With yourself, what we're now going to see is as we get into the downswing we're too much on top of that golf ball we've actually got way ahead of it we therefore need to back up to impact so if we watch that move and to allow us to back up the feet work in that manner so if we actually look at the spine angle you have at impact It's pretty much identical to the one Tiger has set up. So there's a little bit of a sort of cause and effect. Uh, key area is to try to improve your setup position. If you look at the blue line, which is your current spine angle, try to get your spine a little bit more, if you will, angled, as you see with Tiger, away from the target. Uh, if you want to discuss this further or you want to go over anything, you know where we are. Hope this little bit helps and hope your practice continues to go well. Thank you.